people say, ah, oh, podcast show, welcome to the world of creepy, weird, and strange science. Body farm in Texas plant, real human corpus, corpse for science. There are some creepy places around the world, places that may even give you nightmares. But here is one. Currently, there are over 50 bodies that have been placed all over a 16-acre field on a body plant in Texas. The primary purpose is for scientists to do more research for different surges on different stages of decomposition. It helps forensic teams have a better understanding of decomposed decomposition and aids them in fighting crimes more effectively. This is the Freeman March. This is part of the Forensic Anthropology Center of Texas State University. It's one of the premier research institutes for studying how the human body decomposes. Research from the Freeman March has been invaluable to law enforcement agencies around the world. Dynamic bodies are used to researchers by researchers to see the effect of different weather conditions, terrain, setting on decomposed combustion of human bodies. New bodies are delivered to the ranch several times a month. Researchers and graduate students and graduate students must then clean and catalogue the new bodies before they are put out into the field. The new bodies are they, they are placed out in the, field, in the open where they are assessed for wildlife or placed within a two foot high cage. The former method allows researchers to see the effect of bacteria and insects on decomposition. A body goes through three stages of decay when it's inside the cage. During the first stage, the body bloats out because the bacteria inside releases gases as it consumes the body's carbon. Next is advanced decay. This happens after the body bursts and releases decompression fluids. Finally, there's a dry decay stage that comes when nearly all flesh on the body is consumed. This stage is usually reached after several weeks and it stays most of the bodies that Freeman March are in. Every single body is donated for research. The reason for the body farm is to help gain knowledge that help in fighting crimes. Viewing the combined effects of the outside elements inside life. N- nature rutting in vital for scientists to help identify remains whether they from exposed crime or closure crime or natural causes. Listen to the following auto audio. Research Center in South Texas studies how bodies decompose and why. Their research helps law enforcement officers, forensic specialists, and scientists figure out when and how a person died. I don't know if you've ever tried digging holes, especially in Texas. It's a pretty difficult thing to do with all the uh, limestone we have around here. Totally. So, another way that I don't trainers know. tend to uh, cover the bodies with throwing refuse on it, you know, whatever's around, just to try to conceal the body. Perpetrators. Right. Some murderers. Uh, exactly. So what this uh, thesis project is attempting to replicate is in that instance that, you know, they throw a mattress on top of the body, how that affects the decomposition rate of these humans. Mm. So if I donated my body here, I could help solve a murder from beyond the grave. What other good deeds could my rotting corpse do for humanity? studying how the clothing will affect vulture scavenging if clothing like impedes their ability to access the body they have a very strong sense of smell are they just like are they watching us right now they could be 